Well, day six here at Haywood Field. No Aussies in finals, but we had plenty in action. And I am now joined by John Salvato, AAP Sports Editor. This is his ninth World Championships. Salvo, welcome. Uh, you know, what's the first cap off the ring today for you? Well, look, it's got to be Peter Bowl, Matt. You know, tremendous in Tokyo last year, obviously, those three great runs. The pressure was on a bit, I reckon, to back it up here, and he just did everything you could ask of him. Hit the front with 200 to go, 145.50 with a bit in the tank. That's just a big tick. Yeah, and he was a smooth mover. And we actually lost a few big names out there too. So we lost the bronze medalist, the Polish Dybeck, as well as a few others. Yeah, so Max, Max Bergen, rather, the, the British runner, he was injured. Number one in the world this year, didn't even start. Admittedly, neither did Joe Deng, the Aussie, with, unfortunately with the Achilles. And then Donovan Brazier, the running world champ, he didn't even get close. Been injured all year, admittedly, but you'd still probably expect him to have at least got three percentage. Yeah, no, there's actually no American made the semi. There was four in it. No American made the semi final, so that's a big shock. I think it's wide open for Pete to take a medal. And talking about medals, Kelsey Lee Barber and Mackenzie Little both making the final. Mackenzie just sneaking in, but Kels, she got a big one out there. Uh, I think she's coming into some form. Well, look, there's your ultimate big event performer, isn't it, Kelsey? Gold in the last throw in Doha, that clutch bronze in Tokyo last year. Did absolutely everything you want, I reckon, tonight. Second round throw, 61-27, was always going to get it through. Coach and husband says, just have one more go, get more used to the stadium. She did it, gets through in fifth spot overall. I'd be every chance, I reckon, she gets on the podium again. Yeah, we actually lost a few in that too, a lot of the big names. Um, you might have noticed Kels was down the left-hand side of the runway. I was talking to his, uh, her coach before, Mike, and he said the middle of the runway is absolutely ripped up, so you might notice a few of them coming down the left or right-hand side. We also had our 5K runners, Rose Davies and Nat Real tough running out. There's probably the hottest day it's been out there in this 5,000 metres. It would have been real tough running. Well, I wouldn't want to do it, mate, but... Uh... <laughs> And, and clearly it was very tough for Nat, she only got halfway, pulled up in clear distress. That's a real great shame, but you know, I suppose it's a learning experience, isn't it? Rose Davies at least finished, same for her I would have thought, you yeah. know. It, it, it wasn't easy. We had Sarah Carley go around in the 400 metre hurdle semi. Season's best. She's coming back from a scary injury that she um, just before Tokyo last year. And, and Alex Beck in the semi finals as well. And that wraps up day six. Day seven, it's going to be a fantastic. Keep watching those Aussies and stay tuned.